Let's talk about denim. What is it? Why is it important? And how you can get started today? All of that and more in two minutes. Start the timer. Deno is a modern and secure runtime environment for JavaScript, TypeScript, and WebAssembly. It was co-created by Ryan Dahl in 2018, and in many people's eyes is a direct competitor to Node.js. But here's the funny thing, Node.js was also created by Ryan Dahl. Ain't that something? Anyways, Deno was created to breathe new life into the JavaScript ecosystem, as Ryan likes to put it. One of his biggest attraction points is Deno's first class support for TypeScript. Unlike Node, you don't need any additional packages installed besides the Deno CLI to run TypeScript. Another feature that makes Deno stand out is its permission system. Deno is secure by default, which means unless you specifically allow it, a program run with Deno has no file, network, or environment access. Deno also does things very differently from Node when talking about managing dependencies. In Node, you would typically use npm or yarn to install third-party packages from the npm registry into your Node modules directory. Deno relies on a more browser-centric way, in which they grab the third-party package's URL and import it that way. I bet you're probably asking yourself, if I go ahead and start using Deno, will I lose access to the npm registry that makes Node.js so famous? Short answer to that is no, but kinda at the same time. Let me explain. There are plenty packages that you can still grab from the npm registry through CDNs, but at the same time, there are packages that require Node.js's APIs, and some of those APIs are not yet supported in the Deno Node.js compatibility mode, so you will lose out on some external packages, unfortunately. Now, all of this is great and all, but should you learn Deno or stick with Node.js? Well, this part is completely up to you, and what needs you have in your applications. This video isn't meant to be a comparison between the two, but obviously they both have similarities and some differences as well, so I thought it was best to bring them up. If your project or application requires a higher level of security, or if you intend to write TypeScript, or simply if you want a breath of new life in your JavaScript, then Deno will definitely do that for you. If you want to learn Deno and fully master this powerful JavaScript runtime, check out Zero to Mastery's complete Deno Bootcamp course, where you'll go from beginner to expert.